Hey all, welcome back to Let's Play E6, Ark of Napishtim. Last time, we invaded the pirate ship and officially awoke the Ark of Napishtim. Anyway, the situation has gone from bad to worse. As soon as that Ark surfaced, the Great Vortex came right back. As if that wasn't bad enough, the monster that annihilated the Roman fleet is circling the waters around it. If we try to get close, we're just going to end up joining them at the bottom of the ocean. Bah, there's nothing we can do. Surely there must be something, anything. What do you think we're all here for? But you know, I was hoping the Redden would stay around a while longer. I'm sorry we couldn't save that girl at all. I've let you down big time, I know. I'm no happier about it than you are, but there wasn't anything we could have done. It was a miracle you are even able to get off that island by boat ourselves. That earnest fellow we encountered it makes me nervous. One look is enough to tell you he's in a league of his own. He seems to know the answer to all the mysteries surrounding these islands. The nature of the Ark of Napishtim, that giant creature circling it, the true identity of that statue, and I bet he's using them all to play right into his hands. Well, he's no ordinary searcher, that's for sure. Just who is he anyway? Ah, oh, good, you're all here. Hey, Rob, a good treat, job treating all the injured. How's that stubborn old fool doing? Fortunately, his wounds seem to have closed. I left him to Ola after she returned, so that's all I could come here, so that I could come here. It's a plain as ever to see that the situation here has taken a turn for the worst. Can you share what information you have with me? We'd be happy to. You might even be able to shed some new light on what we already know. I'm gonna go... Well, bye. I'm gonna go... One thing's one. First thing's first. I got 20,000 ammo. Emulus. I can upgrade two of my swords right now. And also, if you get 100,000 emulus, you can get something else really good. Anyway, and strengthen the br the brillante and the those two swords. Just tamper the, just and strengthen those two. Before I go, take care of uh, that thing. You want to warp to the end of each dungeon, believe it or not, because there are some good rewards. There's well, besides the Roman fleet, anyway. You can't really do anything with that. Um, but at the end of these places, you can actually take care of a really important side quest. See that? It's a Pickard. Catch the Pickard. Then you'll want to warp to Port Remorge. And you'll want to hand the picker to this guy. Yeah, I can do that. Anyway, Ruins of Lost Time, Depths. I'm not going to show the rest of this. Well, I'm going to show off where they are. Oh yeah, you also can't go forward from here anymore. Eh, not that I care. I didn't really like walking to the Zenith Station. Thanks him anyway. I like the music there, that's about it. Here we are back at the worst dungeon in the game, Cave Lake. It's 
Sunrise Inlet. Take this Pickard. Oh yeah, I know they mentioned it in a cutscene, but the pirate ship ain't here no longer. I don't know where it is, actually. I don't think they even tell us. Way after this, I'll meet back in the Redden Village. Yeah. Alright. There's still one Pickard left, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna go ahead and save right there. Um, it may be obvious, but I kinda had to record these two videos back to back to get a good ending. But anyway. One thing I do want to buy is, you want to buy two of these, and then I say buy a lot of healing items. Mm. Seed of Vitality. Anyway, let's actually go ahead and use those, yeah? Those will increase your HP by 5, which is really nice. This is probably going to be it. I want to go in here. You came after all. At all. You came to see us. I was hoping that you might come. I have something important that I must discuss with you. Ula, er, I must speak to Ada all alone. What? How come? I just want to thank him personally for rescuing our people. All right, Uncle. Come along, girl. Let's let him. Let's do as he speak asked. Ah, uh, well, if you say so. Words cannot express how grateful I am for all that you've done for us at all. Both for saving my people, as well for saving my son from those demonic soldiers. It pains me to burden you further, but if anyone is worthy of knowing, it is you. It is time you learn the truth. The truth about Alma, the Ark, and the Keys. Long, long ago, long before the time of anyone in this village, there once existed a country inhabited by winged gods across the ocean to the far west. The Alma, who we read of, Rafir, came here from that very country. She came to guard the Ark of Napishtim, a device which controlled both sea and sky in order to protect the world of its balance. Our Redden ancestors proudly served her and assisted her in protecting the Ark. However, the balance the Ark had created was not to last. Another group of Alma's followers, those without a tails, stole something precious from her. It was called the Black Key. It took form of a mighty black blade and was used to control the Ark. And using the Ark's power, they sought to surpass the gods that they should come, should have instead adored, have adored. However, even with the keys, they were still human and they could not hope to do everything that the gods could. The Ark began to malfunction in time. The seas and skies turned wild, and the very world was threatened. Lamenting her the betrayal of her people, Alma created three keys to act in place of the original one. She put a swift end to the monsters that man had created, and succeeded in sealing the way of the Ark. But in doing so, she exhausted her strength. Her task now complete, she supplemented it, and her remains became the keystone that held the Ark sealed. This is the story passed down through the chief's of our tribe. I suspect that that black haired man is the descendant of the people who stole the black key from Alma. And I fear he intends to use Isha as a descendant of the priestess blessed upon, blessed with Alma's power to make the, the Ark his own. At all, I entrust you with this. Wyvern Medallia. Medalli. That acts as the key to enter the ruins under Windseekers Heights in northwestern Quintara. There lies an ancient city which our ancestors lived, preserved exactly as it always was. Our lowest level of that city is the Black Corridor, 
through which Alma passed when she went to the seal of the Ark. Adol, you have obtained all three keys created by Alma. I do not believe this to be a mere coincidence. If anything, all that has transpired is due to Alma's guidance, right down to when I first passed you my sword. As such, I will ask nothing further from you. Isha, the Ark, leave everything to your own discretion. Very well, I'll do it. Oh, Adol, you were in there for ages. What were you talking about? Was it about Isha? Er, you mustn't pester Adol. I need your help to changing Uncle Ord's bandages, so come with me. Fine. But you're gonna have to tell me later, Adol, promise? I don't promise anything, you know, Adol? No, it doesn't matter. I have to tend to my uncle now. Cool. Well. I say we head out to that way. There are a few more things we can do in the overworld. I want to show off the inventory before we get to Inland Seeker Heights. In fact, I might be able to do one of those things right now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do these things right before I head off for the final boss. As I don't imagine it being an issue for me. I don't imagine the final dungeon being a huge issue for me. I do imagine something else being a huge issue, though. Not that way. Um... Dungeon isn't too difficult. Anyway, up this way. Seriously, I'm not good at navigating this forest at all. Sometimes. I'm not. There's the final Pickard. Go ahead and place the medallion into one seeker heights. Over there you can see the Ark of Napish Tim. That's quite neat. I say we head under. But I'm not going to do much here. I'm actually going to go in just so I have a warp point started. This is the ruined city of Kishko. We're not going to do anything yet. Before I finish anything else, I'm going to show you guys things, okay? Let's go turn in this final pickard, and then I'm going to show you the inventory, what it should look like up to this point. And if it doesn't, you're doing something wrong. Or you've missed something kind of important. The Daylight Stone is an item that can revive you from death one time. So, I recommend you save it for the final boss. Anyway, um, that's all we really got time for here. Next time on Let's Play E6, we will take on the Ruined City of Keshkill. I will see you guys then.